All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the longest standing regular in the history of Kiltoni. This is the big red machine, William Montgomery, everybody. woo Come on, people, one more time for your final comedian of the night, William Montgomery. Many people don't know this about me, but I have a huge following down in Tamaulipas, Mexico. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't always understand everything I'm saying, so I brought my translator. Uh, give it up for my translator, y'all. Interpreter, daddy. Ain't nothing trans about me. <laughs> we didn't agree you could say that. What are... ¿Qué pasa con el senador Ismael García, cabeza de vaca? Ese hombre sabe cómo comer tacos. Es como vamos, Ismael, ¿de dónde eres? Sí, sí, sí. ¿De dónde eres? ¿De Tomalepus o Brownsville? What's up with Senator Ismael García, cabeza de vaca? That guy knows how to eat tacos, doesn't he? Hey there, Ismael, where are you from? Tamaulipas or Brownsville? Me gustan los condones de velcro porque son más fáciles de poner y son más gruesos. I like velcro condoms because they are easier to put on and are thicker. No sé si ustedes... Sí, 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 he estado en el Museo de Historia de Tomar y Pase en mi historia recientemente, pero ¿quién está a cargo de mi amor? ¿Quién está a cargo de esas exhibiciones ahora? Pee Wee Herman. I don't know if they've been to the Tamaulipas Regional History Museum in Victoria recently, but who's in charge of those exhibits? Pee Wee Herman? Thank you, that was perfect. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. That was the coolest episode of Narcos I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God! I didn't realize your material translated so well to uh, <laughs> Espanol. Neither did I. Yeah, we were actually in Tamaulipas last night. William, I love this look. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> oh, thank you. you look like if there was a crossover episode between uh, Dallas and Duck Dynasty or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Who shot PB and J over here? Uh, I'm going to start buying these shirts on eBay. This one's also a little too small. No, it's good. You wear it absolutely. Crowd, doesn't he wear that shirt well? Come on. Come on. You want to make out with a girl with extra hard nipples, huh? No, no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That. I'm kidding. William, I'm kidding. I'm joking. No. <laughs> That's not what this show is, people. Yeah, that would kidding. end badly. I'm just joking. That would end badly. William, how's it going? You look fucking fantastic. You got a new. It's been uh, it's been a few months now. You lived in Texas. You got a new hat. I do. Yeah, I went to LA Fitness for the first time. I've worked out in five years today. Wow. It's fucking. It's killing me moving my arms. That's a real segue. I asked about the hat. You talked about going to the gym today. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my arms were killing me. I was on the Stairmaster for 15 minutes. Wow, yeah, your arms must be exhausted from the Stairmaster. Absolutely crazy. I was working on that joke when I was on the Stairmaster. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I love it, I love it. How long were you on the Stairmaster? 15 minutes. And then what'd you do? Uh, something with a, a curved 20-pound weight. I was sort of just lifting it around. And some fucking old piece of shit came up to me. He was like, yeah, I think there's like a 40, fa 40 pound one over there. And I was like, okay. Oh, I don't you, know why he said that to you me. You think it he was telling off. you to like lift more weights? Correct. That's totally oh, what he was doing. Oh, what a piece, piece of, of shit, shit, dude. Total piece of shit. Wow. He came up to you at the gym and said that? He did. Yeah, he was on the little bench thing next to me. And this was your first time at the gym in five years, you said, huh? Or more. I but love yeah, it. at least. Did you do a single sit-up? It really doesn't look like it. <laughs> I tried. I can't. Yeah, this is bad right now. Yeah, it looks, like, really it looks like you right did now. squats with your belly. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get those Duke brothers. 
What the fuck did you just say? I don't even get that. Yeah. I don't even understand Literally, that. Literally, I don't think anybody knows. What did you say exactly? Nothing. All right. There you go. That's good podcasting right there. Now everyone yeah, knows what I'm God. talking about. What? The Duke Brothers. The Duke Brothers? Boss Hog. He's Boss oh, Hog. Oh, okay, Let's yeah. Explain little, little, it for the young kids. Yeah, no, it's that's before my time. There's a 10-year age gap between me and Red Band, believe it or not, uh, and that's part of it. But I got the <laughs> Dallas reference, right? Mm-hmm. That was close enough. Um, okay, so you're dressed like that. You think this is going to be a new... You have a lot of mosquito bites? You're very itchy right now. Larry. Oh, my arms are really killing me. I'm not kidding. They're killing me. Really? I took a nap earlier, and I couldn't move my arms, and it scared me for a second. Then I remembered I worked out. Yeah. <laughs> it was you were bad. It really, I was legitimately attack. afraid. Yeah, I thought I was dying. Oh, my goodness. Well, you look fucking fantastic, dude. I love this. I don't know what A&E show you remind me of, but uh, <laughs> it's definitely a few of them. I love it. What else, William? Anything else crazy in life? I wrote my old friend Alex Rayner is getting married in Vail, Colorado this weekend, so I'm flying to Denver uh, Thursday, so we'll see how they go. How long have you been on the show, William? What's it been? Two and a half years Something or like longer? That. Polly, William has been writing a brand new minute in front of the entire internet for over two and a half years every single week. What do you think about that? You know, you've, you've been... Polly, Polly was raised at the comedy store. You understand this? His babysitters were fucking uh, Sam Kennison and fucking insane people. Yeah, Richard Pryor, yeah. David Letterman. Yeah, they all Robin took care Williams. of a little baby boy named and, Polly that yeah, was running and, around a comedy. And club. they molested me, but we can't go into that. <laughs> wow, you can't even go there. Polly's me too. No, he's. Polly's Me Too's, all the statues of limitations are up on him. So No, I love this dude. I saw him at the store many years ago. He's fucking funny, dude. Very funny, and congratulations on writing all the time. It's great. And uh, you got to do what uh, David's doing, which is headline Pittsburgh, too. You should do that. You should do that shit. I figure out how to do that. Yeah, I don't know you're good. He's, he's saying, motherfucker, I'm going to play an A club now. Shit. That's what yeah. he's got to say, too. Yeah. I think, I think it's just a very short matter of time before William's doing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Very funny. We'll see. William, how long have you been, how long have you been sober now? Like 60 days, maybe. 60 days, ladies and gentlemen. You're witnessing greatness. Went to the gym today for the first time in five years, everybody. This is a man who's been doing the job, getting better, and absolutely killing. Now has spots opening uh, before me, before uh, opening for Joe Rogan, everyone. And so this is a guy. That's fun. I have to memorize my jokes. I creeped him out. Moving upward and onward, doing the right thing, writing continuously. How about one more time for your final comedian of the night, the great William Montgomery, everybody. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Memphis, Tennessee, now a resident of Austin, Texas. We present the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery! Hello, my name is William and I'm an Asian American. (laughs) Woo! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, Hi, my name is Jonah Fujikawa and I'm an Asian American. Uh, yeah, so being Asian, it's very scary right now, uh, especially for white people, because if you don't laugh tonight at my jokes, you are committing a hate crime. All right, white people, you better be laughing. Let's see, white person, not laughing, hate crime. White person, not laughing, hate crime. I'm like Oprah. You're committed a hate crime. You're committed a hate crime. You're all committed a hate crime. <laughs> give it up for Asia. Let's give it up for Asia. No, but, but seriously, I want to thank Tony for letting me on tonight, even though I tested positive for COVID two days ago. Thank you. I was in uh, Colorado at my buddy's wedding, and I wrote these jokes down when I was on LSD. Let's see if they work. Is it just me, or has Minnie Mouse put on some weight lately? If you're afraid of your own shadow, just wait till you see the dark one day. (laughs) 
Right next to Bed Bath & Beyond, I'm going to open up a store called Beyond Beyond. I'm going to sell everything Bed Bath & Beyond hasn't sold yet. Uh, yes, I'd like to buy some spring lavender hand lotion, some linen drapes, and a couple Cap and Crunch anime posters. <laughs> Sir, we have the first two, but you'll have to go next door for the posters. <laughs> Do another one. And then one. I had one more. I bet it's pretty boring at a gender reveal party for a non-binary couple because nobody shows up. <laughs> this guy is a master. Because they don't have any fucking friends. Maybe some of you are new to comedy, but this guy knows how to write a fucking joke. This is the big red machine, William Montgomery, everybody. A brand new minute every single week in front of the entire internet for years. It's an unheard of position that he's put himself in that he thrives in and lives for and loves. William, welcome back. So went, nice to be here. You went to Colorado this week for your friend's uh, wedding, right? I did. How was that? It was fun. I, uh, I was wearing this when I smuggled weed on the plane earlier. <laughs> How, how did you, can't you smuggle really it? smuggle weed from I, Colorado? It's I legal. smuggled weed for, in, in all truth, in all honesty, it was just a joint. Yeah. I was scared to death, though. I bet you were. I was scared to death. Did, it's like I had a pound of fucking weed on me. Did you? <laughs> I was did, horrified. Did you wrap it up, put some coffee? No, I didn't fucking wrap it up, Red Band. <laughs> why would so I have done stupid. that? <laughs> Seriously, why would I have done that? Why are you even saying this shit right now? I'm totally fucking on edge. I'm still fucking high from this whole thing. Yeah. I was walking up a flight of fucking steps and I couldn't breathe when I was there. Oh, yeah. Colorado's no joke. That's yeah. high altitude up there. It was. It's the Rocky Mountain way. I love it. Did you do anything fun when you were there? Uh, I was laying around a bunch. I mean, I was legitimately tired there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> did from you just drink? walking and, around. And you did a joke about testing positive for COVID, but that's a joke, right? It is not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is not, so y'all fucking stay away from me tonight. Because I kind of want to fucking spread it to everybody. Yeah. I'm going to fucking spread it to everyone tonight. Yeah. This is going to be a super spreader event. How many, how many of you out there want William to spit on you right now in the audience? Make some noise. That table over there wants it. William, go spit in that guy's mouth real quick. No, it's okay. You don't Luck have to. Will. No, not, Luckily, he's wearing not a mask. Not that guy. He didn't clap. <laughs> Luckily, he's wearing a mask. It's made of orange pubic hair. <laughs> uh, William, I love it. I'm so glad you are. Uh, I'm so glad you are alive and well. And how long you been sober now for? Mm, uh -oh. Sixty-five days, baby. Wow, sixty-five days. <laughs> Counting it off. This is the guy that used to wake up and just fucking crank a six-pack like a crazy artist, and now he's still writing the same caliber jokes. In fact, I'd I'd probably say better jokes than ever before, and performing better than ever. And. Uh, Doing it completely Wait. sober. Wait, back up for a second. Sober, but you tripped on LSD and smoked. Yeah, pot this it's weekend? just uh, alcohol and cocaine were my issue, so I haven't oh, been doing well, that. That's good. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure that'll hold. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, usually, are you serious? I think that's how it works. Yeah, you just get rid of one or two, <laughs> and they tend to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jesus. I'm saying this is a guy who quit drinking 30 years ago, but but smoke. I still smoke pot. It's called California High. You're you're, you're California sober. That's what yep. I've heard. California yep. sober. Yeah. Good luck with it. That's as big of an applause as you could get after saying <laughs> yeah. California anything in Texas. By the way. You could literally be like, California came up with a cure for the coronavirus. These people would be like, fuck that. Yeah. Don't need it. What does it turn you into a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> These people are animals out here. High and dry. 
I love it. William, you are a fucking angel. You are the Kill Tony angel. You are. You really are. You're well, a fucking you. god. Come out here every week and you show everybody thank how you. it's supposed to be done with killer one-liners. One more time for William Montgomery, everybody. Let's close out the show with one of the greatest regulars in the history of the show. The longest standing regular in the history of Kill Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Oh, shit. A new minute every week. The man is a monster. This is William Montgomery. A week into COVID and I'm still here, baby. So I've started inserting Mickey Mouse into famous movie roles. Like when Mickey Mouse got divorced and then dressed up like a British nanny to get closer to his kids and then Minnie Mouse found out. It sounds like Biden is about to start forcing people to get vaccinated. Asians and whites are getting vaccinated and nearly double that of Hispanics and blacks. I think we should start sending the army in to start putting the non-vaccinated in jail, starting with those communities. We definitely shouldn't let the unvaccinated into movie theaters. Or let them vote. Or date my daughter. At the very least, we should make the unvaccinated sit at the back of the bus. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery. Every single week. I thought that Mickey Mouse one was going to be better. Oh. I think it was great. I that was, was a fucking nightmare. I just got high as shit up there. I'm a totally on edge right now. You, you got stoned before this? I did. I smoked out of a one-hitter. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I love that. I see you wrote your jokes on a paper plate tonight. Uh, this is the first time we've seen this. Did you get that off your buddy David Lucas before you got on stage? <laughs> I did. I ran out of my note cards. Okay. So I improvised. I'm also selling this for $200 after the oh. show. In case anybody wants it. My 200 fucking dollars. My goodness. William Montgomery. Always a monster. So much fun. Here's your what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> what, the set? I was trying to. The Mickey Mouse one, I thought that was going to be better. It really wasn't. The, <laughs> let me see this thing. Let me see this. I the never, other I one was kind of racist-ish. I thought that was going to go better. It really wow. didn't. He, I don't know what the fuck happened. He tonight. really has really nice handwriting. You really though. write it out. <laughs> like a little a Asian girl. A week into girl. COVID and I'm still here, baby. <laughs> So I've started, <laughs> I've started inserting Mickey Mouse into famous movie roles. Like when Mickey Mouse got divorced and then dressed up like a British nanny to get closer to his kids. And then Mickey Mouse found out. It sounds like Biden is about to start forcing people to get vaccinated. Asians and whites are getting vaccinated nearly double that of Hispanics and blacks. <laughs> this is incredible. Did you do all of this? I did. Or let yes. them vote, or date my daughter. <laughs> you have really nice handwriting, William. It is like, incredible. Like, like, this like, is your seriously. handwriting? No, I actually got someone in the bathroom to write it out for wow. me. Wow. I, I don't think... really know how to fucking write. If you believe that, then really tell these people that you don't know how to write. No, I mean, seriously, I don't know how to fucking write. I tried to fucking learn when I was like five. I couldn't do it, and I still don't fucking do it. I recommend you not doing that, though. My life's a fucking nightmare. You need to learn how to write. Because I swear to God, I've made life so much harder on myself. Seriously, it is so fucking hard. I lead the worst fucking life because I never learned how to fucking read. <laughs> Seriously, I want to jump off a fucking bridge most days. I don't know how to fucking read. I don't know how to fucking write. My life is upside down now. Literally, it's upside down. 
I can't go to the grocery store. That didn't make sense. The grocery store didn't. <laughs> you can go because I can see store. the food. Yeah, we all know you can go to the grocery store. <laughs> what are some, what are some other ways where not knowing how to read or write affects you though? Let's just keep this momentum going. I mean, try playing Monopoly if you don't know how to fucking read or write. It's like it's in Chinese. Wait, wait. What about the Chinese? <laughs> Easy guys. What did you say? I said it's like I'm reading Chinese because oh. I don't say it might as well be Chinese. Oh, I know what that's like. I should have read my tweets from a couple months ago. <laughs> what else? I don't know. I've run out of stuff. This is incredible. This is our first time finding out that William doesn't know how to read or write. <laughs> Looking at the very curious look on Red Band's face. No, I, I, it seems like you get, you have less eyebrows every week when they wear. <laughs> They're falling out. <laughs> yeah, it really is an interesting thing. I, I haven't noticed that about you. They Have clog you, up my fucking drains. You look, you're starting to look like RoboCop when it comes to the <laughs> eyebrow. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Red Man. Is Shut this, the fuck up. Is this something? <laughs> that was a little mean. Shut the fuck up. You're supposed to have fucking fun up here tonight. We fucking talked about it last night, you piece of shit. And then you fucking say that? Please, Red Band, stop. Is the, is the eyebrow thing something that you've noticed? Yeah, I notice it every time I look at myself in the fucking mirror. Have you thought about it? I don't have fucking eyebrows anymore! William, <laughs> William, have you thought about drawing some in? What the fuck are y'all doing playing that song? God, just stop! Is there a girl out there that has an eyebrow pen that's willing to help out? Yeah, uh, come on, William somebody's some got to have one. <laughs> I know all you, literally every woman in the room has like an eyebrow pen yeah. in their purse. Like, you're not fooling me. i sorry, these are real. You fucking liars. Is there any Latino women in the room? <laughs> you have an eyebrow pen? I can't hear her. I can't hear her. She's like, I, li I lift it in the restroom. <laughs> How about any of these hoes over here? You guys have an eyebrow pen? Hans Kim is fucking everybody, and I can't get my goddamn eyebrows done? Holy shit! Oh, my God! Holy shit! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This right. is it. Hey, wait, uh, wait, wait. Hey, wait, we have we a got Sharpie. one right here. We're not doing that. No. <laughs> Ladies, is there anybody that has a fucking eyebrow God thing? Damn. Hey, somebody's got an eyebrow thing. You have an eyebrow. How many of you think Michael Lairs should paint the eyebrows on William Montgomery? Come on, somebody has to have something, right? Do we have anything other than a Sharpie? There's got to be a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael <You> Lair. <laughs> I'll let Michael because he's about to die. <laughs> no, come on, William. I'm kidding. We're friends. There we I'm go. Totally Thank kidding. You. Will you do it for him? Here, you face. Here. Oh, okay, perfect. Here, you stand in front of the keyboard. It's William. You face. Uh, you face her. There you go. We're gonna get some eyebrows on here. This is gonna be very exciting. We have the great. We have the great... Cool, oh, thank you so much. look at this guy. Well, look yeah, at that pretty guy. Dude. The crowd... I'm going to learn how to fucking read now. Yeah. I'm going to learn how to read. Now that he has eyebrows, he's going to learn how to read, everybody. <laughs> how do I look? <laughs> how am I looking? <laughs> how am I looking, y'all? It's pretty. You, I don't, you look ridiculous. I love it. Please do your eyebrows like oh that all God. the time. Okay. No, William, seriously, that makes you look really good. He looks like cool. Thank you. Lucifer himself. <laughs> this is exactly what the fucking devil looks like. <laughs> like when, when you murdered, just go down to hell and I'm fucking standing right there. When, when murders die, this is what they see. They see that face just going, You're dead, bitch! Yeah, I've you been waiting for you! Died. I've been waiting on you! 
I've been waiting on you. It's the devil, everybody. <laughs> hey, can you give us all a wink with your new eyebrows? Oh, he's got the new... Oh, the famous William Montgomery winks. We haven't seen this in a while. This is where he picks audience members to wink at. Hey, this guy over here wants one, William. This guy right here. Give him one right over there. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's William Montgomery, everybody. And this has been another episode of Kill Tony. We did it again. William Montgomery. Crazy. I was crazy for fear. First off, I would like to alert the girls who made out with Hans. You now have COVID-19. Wait, there's two of them. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, what about that one? <laughs> yes. I'm not kidding, so. <laughs> After watching the movie Pearl Harbor, it made me wish the Japanese had come back to finish the job. <laughs> Boys to men, prove it. We need to include cornhole in the Olympics to be more inclusive of gay people. Uh, this is my impression of a little person asking questions about a script during his audition. Okay, it says here that I then get knocked around like a soccer ball. Is that a euphemism? I thought that was going to go so much better. Oh, my God. All right. Thank you all so much. <laughs> exactly a minute by one of the greatest regulars in the history of the show, William Montgomery. I love that last one. <laughs> Built and bred here on Kill Tony every single week. I love it. Your style is unbelievable. Every single week, you're dressing better. You're looking better. He's, what are you, three or four months sober now? Uh, three maybe. Three months three, sober. For those of you that don't know, William had a, I had a ridiculous bad. drinking problem. Literally, doing a bunch 24 of cocaine cans as well. of beer a day. This guy was going. What did you, you say? I was doing a bunch of cocaine as well. Yes. I highly recommend not doing that. Definitely. For those of you that don't know, William uh, did so much cocaine that he ended up losing his eyebrows. I did, and these I are, actually these, these are brand new eyebrows. This I have new debut. eyebrows this week. <laughs> How expensive are those? It was $10,000. $10,000 for the new eyebrows. Are they permanent? Yes, it's permanent. It's like the tattoos. Yeah, it was 10000 for the pair. Wow, they look perfect. Yeah, I mean, they, they should have matched your beard a little. I mean, it's a little dark. It is a little dark. What the dark. fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I mean... They look perfect. What do you mean? Yeah, it's like Charlie Chaplin or oh, something. Oh, God. No, they're perfect, I think. They are. Is that Sharpie marker? It's incredible. Uh, <laughs> I love William. It's, a, it's sort of scary. Uh, it eyebrows. was 10000 fucking dollars, and I swear to God, I am regretting it now. It's the wrong color. Where did you get the money for that from? Oh, man. I found it. <laughs> you found You found ten thousand. Where did you find $10,000 at? In someone's pocket. Oh, Wow. I was on Sixth uh, Street this past weekend, and yeah, I've started uh, pit pocketing people. Oh, okay. Can you show us? Can you give us a little example of what that looks Here, like? Here, do you want to uh, stand up? Brian Holtzman's going to be the innocent victim. He's got a long doctor's jacket on, so this is going to be sort of hard. So nice to see you. It's been a while. Welcome to Chili's. Um, there's no. You there's nothing in that pocket. This is not good pickpocketing at all. <laughs> wow, jokes on you. The guy that carries the most stuff around oh with him in the history of the show keeps nothing in his pockets. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. I would have guessed you have so much shit in your pockets. And instead, it's the ultimate fucking bluff. That's like 
going in Cosby's pockets and not finding roofies. You know what I mean? Feel. That's incredible. William, I love this getup. Where'd you get this shirt? Were you at an Indianapolis Colts convention or something like that? <laughs> you a... Actually, on 6th Street, I've been stealing people's clothes as well. So. Oh, okay. I got this this past Saturday. All right. What else have you been doing for fun around town? You're a real Austinite now, one of the first of the Kill Tony crew to move out here. I have uh, been going to the mall and stealing people's just stuff out of their bags. Literally, I've started stealing Sid, and wow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop. Okay, maybe you become addicted to stealing things, huh? I'm a little worried about it. I'm not kidding. What else have you stolen from people this week? Oh, my God, I stole a car off of someone. <laughs> what kind of car? It was like a Mazda Miata, one of the little, yeah, little Mazda Miata. What do you do with it? Do you use it? Because you already had a car. You're just doing this for the, the fucking uh, excitement. For the thrill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, ended up crashing it into a tree. Oh. I had robbed a bank earlier that day. I stole the Mazda Miata. I shot a couple police officers. Wow. Did they pass away? Did what? Did the police officers that you shot, did they pass away? They did. Okay. They're no longer fucking here. You seem like the kind of... I fucking murdered them! I fucking killed them! I killed two people! <laughs> I'm not proud of it! I fucking shot two cops! That's... That's horrible, William. Yeah, it's very scary. It's, a it's little scary bit, as shit. It's a little bit... Sometimes we've seen you get excited and scream about things. We've had raisin bread and something else, but I don't think anything quite as morbid as you shooting... I shot two fucking cops <laughs> Saturday night. Where was this at? Where in Austin? It was you... up at the mall. Okay. Were you sure they weren't security guards? Shut the fuck up, Red Man. <laughs> wow. What a dumbass question. I mean, it could have been. I mean, oh. That was a stupid question. It really was. What mall was God it? Was damn it, the, it. Was it the domain? Because if you shot two cops at the domain, I'll, I'll give you money for that. I, <laughs> I hate the domain so much. Is there anything worse anywhere around this city than the domain? I'm pretty sure it's the bottom of the barrel. I love the domain. Of course you love the domain. Why, why don't you like it? What's uh, up with those eyebrows? God, it's a it's a thing I wish I didn't purchase. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars on permanent. Can you can you get them touched up? Did they come with a warranty or anything? They did not. Can you return those eyebrows? I don't think I fucking can. <laughs> maybe you could get them highlighted or something. Oh, well, maybe. Because they are we'll they are see. they're pretty dark. They're getting darker as the I think the light <laughs> is making them darker. I think it's taking away all the red that was in there. Okay. Would, would you ever okay. dye your hair like the same color of those eyebrows just once? That'd be you pretty know, funny. Like, yeah, I think that's a really good idea. All right. Yeah. <laughs> William, when you shot the police officers, did they say anything? Did they, they were screaming. They were? They were fucking screaming. I was yelling at them, you're about to get shot. They're fucking screaming for their lives. I shoot them anyway. I guarantee you, this is Austin. There's at least two, like, girlfriends that got brought to this show that are, like, progressive liberals thinking to themselves, like, someone should call the fucking cops. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? I don't fucking understand. Is this why they... <laughs> Is this why they locked up the phone so that we can't call the police? <laughs> there it was. Still worth it to do it. Uh, William, anything else crazy we should talk about before you go? You look fantastic. Your sets are unbelievable. You're sober. You're focused. It's crazy that, be that you became a kleptomaniac because I'm pretty sure you stole the fucking show tonight, my friend. Uh... I killed two cops! I murdered them! <laughs> Jesus They're Christ. dead! <laughs> I don't ever want to interrupt these rambles that you go on, and I never know when they're going to end. These screaming fits that you have, I think, are one of the most entertaining things in all of comedy right now. 
They're what? starting to hurt my fucking throat. I've been okay. screaming too much recently. <laughs> It's the only thing I can fucking do now to make people laugh. My life is turning into a fucking nightmare. I have to start fucking screaming to make people laugh. It literally is a nightmare. That's why I got this fucking tattoo on my face. <laughs> William, we found out that when you quit drinking, a new addiction arose that you've been eating many loaves of raisin bread for I'm a week. St I'm still eating them. I, I, have you lost any weight since you quit drinking, or have you gained weight? I've gained weight. Wow. It does sort of look like it. How much raisin bread have you been eating this week? It literally, up to this point, if we're counting from... Let's count from Thursday, yeah. I would say. From Thursday, this is Monday, and you're starting Thursday morning. How Thursday much? morning, How it's much? three loaves. Three <laughs> loaves of raisin bread from Costco, right? Costco? Yeah, I can't stop. The real Gotta Kill Tony butter. fans can tell when the William jokes end and when they start. That's what I love, is that that's fucking true. <laughs> He that didn't really <laughs> kill two cops, but I'd bet a million dollars that he ate three loaves of raisin bread since Thursday. Yeah. Do you put butter on them? Like do butter you... all over yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you get the butter from? Uh, the store. I've I've started stealing butter from the <laughs> store. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, normally at this point I'm joking about having COVID, but I actually have mono <laughs> right now, so let's just keep it moving. The best part about drinking with twins is you can drink twice as much and it'll soak up the same. Hey, Red Band, remember the times before trains? It's when I ran wagons on your great-grandmother. What's the difference between the Taliban and the Democratic Party? I don't donate money to the Democratic Party. <laughs> Joe Biden asked his son Hunter Biden what they should do about this Afghanistan debacle, and Hunter replied, maybe I should bang my dead brother's widow. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is William Montgomery, everybody. A new minute every single week for years, and somehow he yes. still smashes the hammer. He's yes. got brand new eyebrows. What are you talking about? <laughs> Those are beautiful eyebrows. They look really good. I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> This they match your beard so well. I love them. This it matches great. perfectly. Yeah. Is Shut your... the fuck up. I don't think it does. <laughs> is your hair in a ponytail tonight? It's not. No, it's just greased back. Oh, I love okay. the shirt. I like it's real hard the... right now. Is that shirt from the J.C. Penny Unfuckable Collection? Where did you get that number? <laughs> I, uh, I think we give Peter Max a headache. I stole it off of eBay. Hey! <laughs> William, I love that set. We missed, uh, Red Band and I missed that second joke you did that got a thunderous applause after the mono joke. Something we were, about me. We were doing some production stuff. Can you repeat it one more time for us just so that we could hear it? Hey, Red Band, remember the times before trains? It's when I ran wagons on your great-grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's... Me. Wow, that's a great... <laughs> That's great. Jesus, it was even funnier the second time. That's incredible. It's really funny when Red Band hears the joke about his great-grandmother <laughs> getting wagons run on her. That's incredible. She gave me marbles. There you go. <laughs> she gave you marbles? No, yeah, don't acknowledge it, William. We move forward. Uh, I like this new hat you have. You have it on the uh, mic stand. This is classy. Much Thank you like so me, much. we are really embracing the Texas uh, styles here. Where have you, have you gone? Have you, did you go somewhere special to get that hat or that shirt or something? Uh, yeah, I went to Walmart uh, <laughs> two days ago. Yeah. Ended up yeah. stealing it. Uh, 
I he's, was em- a- he's embraced the Texas fashion from the waist up. From the waist down, he looks like an accountant. Yeah, that is true. You're wearing your father's <laughs> belt tonight. That belt is not Texas at all. It's like Bucky's on top, Kinko's down bottom. You know, like... There you go. All right. What did you use to grease your hair back like that? It is a spray. It's yeah. an aerosol spray. Yeah? Yeah, I did it for like a minute or two earlier. It's hard yeah. as a rock. It looks like there's a lot in there. I don't think you need to use that much. <laughs> it's hard as a fucking rock right now. How hard is it? It's as hard as a fucking rock right now. Yeah? My hair is as hard as a fucking rock right now. My hair is so fucking hard right now. It's like a fucking rock. It is so heavy. I can barely hold up my head. Are you wearing glitter? I do you have got a there, glitter. We are seeing shades of glitter uh, coming bro, off of your face. You're very sparkly tonight. No, from I think the waist made... up, you're sparkly, bro. <laughs> Were you making out with Hans Kim earlier? Or what's going on here? No, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking? How'd about? How'd you get glitter on your face? He was fighting a hooker earlier. There's a substantial amount about? of glitter. You don't know about this? No. Oh, okay. Who did your eyebrows tonight? There is fucking nothing on my face. There's nothing on my face. It really is, though. Yeah, you, have, you have glitter bro, all over your face right bro, now. I don't hair. think I have anything on my fucking face. Why do you keep talking about it? Seriously, why do you keep talking about it, Red Bean? I don't have shit on my face. I mean, it, seriously, it looks like your, my grandmother sat on your face okay. earlier. Oh, my God. So stupid. Why would your grandmother have glitter on her ass? Because she because she's fucking a works the polls, man. Christ. Yikes! <laughs> Zoinks! <laughs> William, you do anything interesting this week? Oh man, I did so much stuff. We found out a few weeks ago that you have a new addiction. You stopped drinking, it's been months now, and you've filled your drinking addiction with an addiction to raisin bread from HEB. I have. Uh, how much raisin bread did you eat this week? A loaf and a half. I'm trying to... I'm trying to wean myself off of it. It really is way too much. You've, you ate a loaf and a half. Loaf and a half. What did you since... do with the other half of that one loaf? What did, uh, the... I'll throw it away. You threw it away? Yeah. Did you have to like? Is, does that work, or do you, does like the trash can talk to you after that, or like? I know. Have you thought about perhaps <laughs> flushing it down the toilet or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I will normally get it out of the trash can. Yeah. I can picture you doing that. That's fun. What else this week? Anything else other than raisin bread? Just a bunch of ghosts in the apartment. Oh, yeah. This is true. We've heard of this. William does believe that his apartment is haunted. It's haunted as shit. Yeah. What did you see this week? I see shit in my peripherals the entire time. I see shadow people. I'm not kidding. Are you you sure it's just not eyebrow juice getting into your (laughs) eyes? No. No. Bro, it is haunted. There's, there's an there's a entity walking around his apartment that won't pay the rent. It's fucking scary. <laughs> My roommate. <laughs> That's the My truth. Of, that was one of the worst improv moments I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, my God. I love it. William, you have new eyebrows. You have a new style about you. How are you loving Austin, Texas? You feel good good here? I have a new lease on life. Yeah? How long is the lease for? Yeah, I'm kidding. A couple of months. I have a couple of more months. Yeah. So you're going to buy raisin bread this week? I probably will. I am really excited about it. I don't know if y'all eat it often. It is so delicious. How hard is your hair right now? It's as hard as a fucking rock. Yeah. Bro, if someone, went out, if someone got shot and a bullet went off and it would hit his head, it would ricochet off. It's a good, <laughs> it's a good solid hairdo. <laughs> I love it. William, uh, you're an absolute legend on this show. You are uh, just an unbelievable star. The way that you write, the way that you execute, you set a standard for, I think, everyone. And uh, we absolutely love you, William. How about a hand for William Montgomery, everybody? 
That's it. That made me